When a person dies, not all of them actually dies. Yeah, there are some parts of you that remain alive well after you perish. For example, if you were a fighter in the French Revolution caught between autumn 1793 and the summer of 1794, you would have been guillotined. The creepy part is, those beheaded are still able to move their eyes, blink, and move parts of their face for up to 30 seconds afterwards. Keep watching and we'll explore the parts of your body that can survive after you die and exactly how that works. Let's look at something in your body that dies and regrows on a regular basis. Yeah, that happens. Your cells. Cells replace themselves on average every seven to 10 years. That's how you can develop allergies. Don't eat enough peanuts and your new cells will start rejecting them. Thus, a single legume half an inch tall could put you in the hospital. That's the average cell. But the other cells, like neutrophil cells, which are white blood cells, can last only about two days. Whereas some cells, like the one in the middle of your eye, will last your entire life. Your body is basically its own planet full of life being born and dying on a regular basis. If that fact blows your mind, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It doesn't stop at cells though. Some organs in your body almost have a life of their own, which is why some organs can survive up to six hours after you've died. This is utilized all the time for something like a heart transplant. If the heart is healthy and can be retracted in under 30 minutes of death, it can be safe for six hours before it needs to be put into a new human body, and therefore living a whole new life for itself. Skin cells also keep living after you die. In fact, a skin graft can be taken up to 12 hours afterwards. Parts of your body die, live, and breathe on their own accord sometimes. But before we go any further, let's debunk a couple of myths. You heard that one about how your nose and ears never stop growing? Well, it's not necessarily true. Most of it has to do with gravity. In reality, the nose will lose elasticin in its collagen, the thing that keeps it upright and tight. The nose then sags down, making it look bigger. For the ears, it's similar, but gravity lets them fall even further. That's why old people have bigger and saggier earlobes. Wonder if they can tie them in a knot. While the ears don't keep growing, they do have the ability to regenerate. Flesh tissue can regrow, which is how wounds are healed. Some also believe hair and nails keep growing after death, but that's also not true. It's the skin that retracts, causing the hair and nails to appear longer. Now let's get into how long your body can live without you. It's weird to think about how our bodies are so intricate. Like certain types of brain cells could live up to 200 years if we let them. But the weird part is parts of your body will actually turn on itself when it's dead. Digestion can actually continue when you die, and until things are completely flushed out, the bacteria left in your body will eat what remains. After it's all gone, the bacteria will start to eat the flesh. Ugh. What'll really creep you out, though, is small movements that happen once brain activity has stopped. After death, sometimes the muscles will work, if only for one last time. The muscles spasm, causing sudden jolts or rigor mortis, which is when the body becomes stiff like a board. Sometimes the brain itself will have one last hurrah and provide a surge of activity. Ultimately, your body is an amazing place full of life. When you remember all the different kinds of cells and bacteria that live inside of you, it's kind of important to remember to take care of your body. Oh yeah, and there's actually one more thing that happens in the body after it goes. Your colon and bladder will empty themselves out. So try to die somewhere hidden where no one needs to see, okay? If you like the facts and figures shown in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Like what happens to the body that decomposes underwater.